One's shit. dead, one's dead. He's low, he's running around the front. Oh, oh bro, I almost killed him. Two one. So there's one left. Towards watchtower. That oh. side of the base. Watchtower side. Oh, oh, yeah. Bus stop, bus stop. <laughs> this is so funny. He's, he's, he's climbing up. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, I'm coming down with a P2. On my hip. There's two Make of them. There's two of them. Finish. Oh. Come on, jump there's on. There's two of them. Yeah, they jumped on. What the fuck? Why are no, the, the traps working? Not opening. The door's not opening. Yeah. Oh, there they are. There's one dead. See, are you seeing this shit? Can you believe that? So let's do a quick systems overview of all the stuff that <laughs> um, protects this base because I've set up a lot of different electrical um, trap systems all around this base to um, for raid defense and so far it's working nine days into wipe uh, I've come back online multiple times to um, twig being built up around the base but uh, maybe a trap gone here and there but <laughs> haven't been raided yet so um, let's go have a look. So power comes in from the roof. There's 20 panels on the roof, 10 facing east, 10 facing west. Um, that comes down into this branch, which then branches into this or switch, which then goes on to power most of these branches just here. Some of these branches um, come from, like, say, the battery, for example, which runs the ceiling lights, which branches out the ceiling lights, so only the lights work at night when you want them to. And then this one... This branch works off this RF receiver, which lets us know when our trap base down the road's been triggered. And I'll show you all these things now. So, if we go up to the roof, got this trap here. This trap will get them. So here's all the panels. Oh, rip. So as I was saying before I fell off the roof, I've also got some siren lights up here just for, just cause, just cause they're silly. But yeah, so this sensor system covers the whole roof section. This tower will obliterate just about anyone and anyone who's trying to be cheeky. Maybe they think they can stay out of its view. This flame turret will prompt them to move. Yeah, and then we come down the side here. So we just hit the high quality metal quarry. Can't actually wall this off because we're too close to the launch site. But um, 
Yeah, as you can see, this sensor system just caught me. It's on a one minute timer. Timer switch is just back here, so if we suspect anybody's fooling around outside of the sensor range, we can just trigger it manually. Come around the side here. dual sensor system. So I've got one sensor there, another sensor here, and I like to hide them in some hemp bushes or other food for people to run at them. And yeah, and so then it comes to this system here. So the two heartbeat sensors come to these two AND switches. And the reason why they got the AND switches and not just straight through a or switch is because they don't generate enough power to pass through the or switch and then trigger the timer. Yeah, so you need to have, have power to these or to these and switches. And then um, yeah, then the timer just branches out. Wow. Perfect example. Where even is this decay? So yeah, as you can see, this is on a live server. This is on a, a long server. Yeah, that's how that system works. Alright. Alright, so you see these inviting signs. Alright, somebody wants to come and have a sticky beak at me stuff. I've got these shotgun traps here to greet them. These work on a laser detection system just here. And they, uh... So this laser detector triggers a timer switch, which opens that door for a minute up here, if anybody actually comes onto the base, these doors will open. Now these doors, these turrets rather, have pretty good field of view. So like if you run out of that range, you're going to trigger this sensor, that turret is probably going to get you. Like, see what I mean? It's just about always going to be turret looking at you if you trigger something and if you jump up here that'll get you from here as you just heard the sound cue but if someone wants to try and be sneaky come in here got this turret system I think I'm lagging a bit which is why these systems are working so slowly but essentially, if someone jumps up here, and they actually make it down here, this turret will sort them out. And that turret will go a good view. But yeah. So we'll go back inside the base. Looks like the power's just switched over. Yeah, the sun's gone down. And now that, now that there isn't more than 100 power coming in, the branch doesn't have enough power to block the pass through so the battery is now in use and the way the system works it keeps the battery at full charge um, because there is a power surplus which is what you need to have a consistent system so none of these traps are offline at any point in time Fucking wank. Alright. 
So this, this is the power switch for my trap base that I'm powering from down the road. And I'll show you how that works. Right, and that little counter just shows how many times it's been triggered. Alright, so that switch powers out to this XOR switch. Now the thing about XOR switches is that they don't use any power um, if they're not being blocked. So they actually don't cost anything to run power through. So it's, they're essentially like a halfway point so you can stretch power a long distance without it costing any electricity. So this XOR switch powers out to the XOR switch which is up on the power pole there. Which is, goes to the next one on the next power pole and the next one on the next power pole. Which powers out into this trap base. And how this works is if that heartbeat sensor gets triggered, the timer will go off, these doors will open, it will prevent them from getting out, but it will also broadcast a signal to the base which turns that blue flashing light on. This receiver goes to a branch, which then turns this flashing light on and also increments this counter. And to reset the trap, I just turn the system off and on again so that the timer resets. Because the timer is set to the timer switch in the trap base is set to 15 minutes. So if anybody gets caught in there, you know, it gives us a chance to go and get it. And it also lets us know that it's happening if, if we're online. But if we're not online, the trap automatically resets in 15 minutes. So it can just, you know, kill someone else. <laughs> I just heard the traps go off. Now 11 days into what? The uh, trap's been triggered about 23 times in the last few days. And because finding the two outer turrets, being this one in here and the one on the back side of the quarry. trigger my... see that's funny this is a perfect example this dickhead was just trying to trigger my turret so that he could try drain it so I've just changed it to um, an AND system so if there's someone within both heartbeat sensors at the same time it will trigger the timer that way it'll only open if there's multiple people killed and so you know more gears towards preventing a raid rather than just shooting every single dickhead that comes past um, because yeah because it just gives it was out of ammo, I put four stacks in it. It's, it's expensive loss while well, you're not online, but not a lot. But surprisingly, this one was also um, almost empty. It wasn't empty, but it was almost empty.
control. Got the base. So I want to explore. Yeah, no worries, bro. You can't find peace. Left you a hunger of shoes with a dead body when I died before. You, you want to drive? You want to drive? I'll just give it to you, man. <coughs> Better jump off. Please don't try and drain my turret. Very annoying. Just for raid defense, really. I've just changed it so it doesn't trigger on every one person that comes past. Pretty happy with it. It's um, keen to see how many days this base can hold up. I've gotten it um, pretty strong now. All these... days and seven hours on it. Yeah. Thanks for watching.